A driver in custody three months after a deadly wreck involving a van carrying special needs passengers. And now a pastor who knew the two men who were killed says justice can be served. I think that a moral universe demands that some consequence and justice is, is won for those that have lost their lives. Police say Donald Gibson had more than three times the legal limit of alcohol in his system, plus marijuana. He now faces several DUI charges, including manslaughter. That wreck happened June 11th near University Boulevard and Kennerly Road. The driver of the van and six special needs victims were all taken to the hospital. Two of the passengers later died from their injuries. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel spoke with that pastor who works at the church the adults attended during the day. And she's joining us live now with more of what, what he had to say about the arrest. Corley? The pastor tells me he's relieved an arrest was made. He says knowing how shaken up the passengers were when they were in the van and the two lives that were lost, he's hoping for justice. Blood test results landed 62-year-old Donald Gibson in Duval County Jail. Police say his blood alcohol level was 0.287, nearly three and a half times over the legal limit. When he crashed into this R&R Loving Hand special needs van in June, killing two people. Investigators say he also had marijuana in his system. I think that a moral universe demands that some consequence and justice is, is won for those that have lost their lives. The van was heading northbound here on University when police say Donald Gibson ran a red light here on Kennerly and crashed into the van. 59-year-old Mark Cole and 71-year-old Jeffrey Stark both died from the injuries in the crash. Stark was blind and deaf, according to police. Pastor Ed Bez with the Christ and Messiah Church says all the victims attended a daycare at his church. It just grieved my heart. It was so tragic um, to me personally that the, the folks, they had no idea it was coming. They were handicapped. They were unable to see or to hear. And all of a sudden, just their lives are extinguished. Pastor Bez attended Stark and Cole's funerals. He says the two men were truly loved. The impact that they had was just absolutely astounding. Pastor Bez says there is room for forgiveness for Gibson, but not without consequences. I spoke with Donald Gibson's family off camera today. They say his arrest is upsetting and their hearts go out to the victim's families. They're actually trying to get in touch with the victim's families. Reporting live from downtown, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.